Okay. So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and let us continue with the to do's uh, GFG APU this week. Today's question name is isomorphic stream and it is actually a good question. I would not rate it in an easy category. It requires maybe a bit more of observation to solve this question, right? So let us read the question. So given two strings for S1 and S2, check if these two strings are isomorphic to each other. So what does an isomorphic means if the characters of string one can be changed to can change to get str2 then the two strings are isomorphic so how can we change it a character must be completely swapped out for another character while maintaining the order of the characters okay so swap karna hai and we should maintain the characters as well a character may map to itself but not to characters may map to same character okay 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 so that means if a is let's say mapped to x then a will always be mapped to x and not to some other character because no two characters may map to the same character great so for a a b you can clearly see that if a is mapped to x then two a's can be replaced with two x and if b is mapped to y then one b can replace to one y and that is how you can say that there are two different characters in a b and x is y and a and b with frequency two and one respectively okay and in the second test case a a b so if we if i map b with z then that's not a problem if i map a with x then again i got a same a right and I have to map it Y to make my answer uh, as one, but that can't be done, right? One character cannot be mapped to two different characters. That is why we have zero here, great. Okay, so we have understood the question. We have understood the question. Point one, which we have observed, what they have done is that they have maintained the frequency, right? Also, if we have n1, n1 is nothing but s1 dot length, string length, and n2 is nothing but s2 dot length right so if n1 agar equal nahi hai, then clearly i can say that not possible right because the character should be exactly mapping mapping to uh, the corresponding characters in s2 correct so for a a b it mapped with x x y so let's say there was one more character here z or let's say even x then this one a is missing and i can say that it is not an isomorphic Okay, so if uh, first of all we need to check if both string length are unequal, then definitely it is not possible. But once it is equal, so what uh, we can start off with that they are comparing the frequency of a and b, right, with the x and y is available. So what we can do is you can make a map n1 and a map and a different map m2 to store the uh, frequency of the uh, characters present in S2. So if I write it for M1, the string is A, A, B and okay. And here the string is X, X, Y. Okay, so A would be mapped with frequency S2 and B as 1. Similarly here, X would be mapped with frequency 2 and Y as 1, right? So I'll start from my A, A, B, X, X, Y. 0, 1, 2. So I'll start from i equals to 0 and I will see that I, I have A and I have X as the S2. So what I can do is I can decrease the frequency. 2 becomes 1 and X becomes 1 again. Again, there is one second A which is mapped to X again. So let us decrease the frequency once again. Right? At any point of time, if I get the frequency are unequal, then I will definitely say that is not possible. So that's my, that's my, or maybe yours, the initial understanding of solving this question. Similarly for B, you can clearly see B is mapped to Y and both frequencies have the same frequency, right? So let's decrease it by one, uh, one point. So at any point of time, I did not find the frequency of the characters to be mapped with the second character is not equal, right? We have never seen that the frequency is different. If it happens, I would say not possible for this case, right? So here I can just say return true. But this logic, will it work for each and every case? So let's just take some unjumbled characters. Let, let us take the second test case as second test case as A, B, A and the second string as X, X, Y. Right? So you can clearly see that the frequencies of A are matching with X and the frequency of B is matching with Y. But can we do a dry run on it? And I can clearly see that the answer is not possible. It should be zero, right? Correct. Why am I saying zero? Because A, B, A and X, X, Y. If A is mapped with X, then definitely B cannot be mapped with X, right? 
अगर ऐसा होता कि ए ए बी और एक्स एक्स वाई होता देन आई वुड इट इज पॉसिबल सो लेट मी जस्ट पॉजिट हेयर आई एम गेटिंग ओके सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस फॉर दिस केस फॉर दिस टेस्ट केस आर आंसर would be zero that is not possible let, so let us verify with our existing logic so map 1 will have a as frequency 2 b as frequency 1 the map 2 will have x as frequency 2 and y as frequency 1 so again let us start iterating so we have the string as a b a x x i hope that screen is visible yep it is visible let me just scroll it through the indexes are 0 1 and 2 right so let me choose a different color Okay, let me choose a different color. Yes. So if I start at the pointer zero, I can see that A is mapped with X. And what are the frequencies? A has frequency two, X has frequency two. So there is no problem, right? So I will just decrement it by one because we have found one instance of both the characters. Again, if I am at this index one, I can see that the B is mapped to X. So what we were doing, we were checking the frequency should be same, right? So B has the frequency same as X, right? There is a problem. I hope you got the problem. I can clearly see that me b cannot be mapped with x. But what were we checking in the initial logic? That b or x are frequency same. Oh, then we are good to go, right? So that means this logic will not work. But let us complete the logic with this particular dry run. So since the frequency are same, we again decrease it to uh, decrease by one. So it is zero and zero, and again a and y. So again a and y frequency same. So let's decrease it. So according to our previous or initial logic or the most intuitive way or the most naive way you can say i would have gotten an answer as 1 but i can clearly see that 1 is not the answer for this test case so what is the need here what do we observe what did we observe that i had to maintain the frequency i had to maintain the frequency frequency should be same definitely mai likh deta hu that is why i do not use a white board okay the frequency same hona chahiye that's the first criteria second criteria is jo mapping hai let's say the character c1 to c2 c1 is coming from s1 and c2 is coming from s2 this mapping should also be there to check jab a x se map ho chuka tha then definitely b x se map nahi ho sakta hai. so we need to we need to store the mapping as well we need to store the mapping right and while traversing in the string we need to check two conditions the frequency should be same something like that and or you can say or, or and and the mapping should be same if a is mapped to x then in the next iteration a will not be mapped to any other character theek hai now please pause this video i hope we have got a, a good understanding of the question i hope uh, question to clear tha here but i hope you have got a good understanding that how to think to solve this particular question right i have told you many things that humne naive se ab shuru kiya is question ko and then we found that there was some loopholes in our naive approach so can you can you now code this solution using this hint if yes that's good but if not again i'm saying this question is a bit tricky it's not a easy question so let's just resume so let us resume again okay so let me give you a dry run so we need to store the mapping as well right so for this case i'm using two maps here i'll be using two maps so one map will actually store the mapping of c1 to c2 this is my first map i'll record second map i'll use to check if my c2 is visited if c2 or i can just write it as if c2 is visited right so things will be making sense in some time so let's just uh bear with me okay so let us do a dry run with a a b and x x y and then we will do we will do a dry run with a b a and x x y so in this case i know the answer is 1 and for this case i know the answer is 0 let us do a dry run so we have a map here we have a map 1 which store the mapping and we have another map which store the visited of c2 c2 is nothing but the characters present in s2 so this is s1 this is s2 great so for i equals to 0 what will happen for i equals to 0 what will happen the characters here are a and x that is i need to map a with x why i need to map it a with x because since this is the starting index and i can clearly see that a has been seen for the first time so i can seen for the 
first time right so is it the same case with the second character x is also seen for the first time right that means how can i check i can check using if it is not present in this map right okay so then this uh, since is seen for the first time so what i will do i will make i will make a mapping a to x and i will mark x as true that x has now been mapped so i have visited this character x right so i'll go to i equals to 1 now now the characters are again a and x so i'll check again in my mapping map uh, that if it is present in my map dot contains he in java we can use that so this is already present this is already present in map so what i need to check now if it is already present right which is the character it is mapped to right and i wanted it to map it with x because the corresponding character for the index 1 is x i wanted it to map with x so i will check that in the map previously our a was there definitely for i for i equals to 0 i need to check the mapped character the mapped character is it equals to the corresponding character in s2 so i will check if check if it is okay so let me write it more clearly check if it is mapped with the corresponding character and corresponding character is nothing but the the character present at the index 1 in s2 in s2 and character here is x right so i will just verify it using uh, in java in java and hash map there is a function i will get i will call map dot get of a and if if that this thing equals to x then i will say okay then no problem a is again mapped to x and we have the mapping as well so i will just continue it from here okay so for i equals to 2 again i will check again i will check that b it is not in map right so it is seen for the first time it is seen for the first time and what is the value what is the corresponding character i want to map it with i want to map it with b so I can say that it is not in map, right? I have seen it in the first time. I want to map it with Y. I need to check that if Y is also seen for the first time, right? I can clearly see in the visited, in the visited map, we do not have a Y entry. So definitely this is also seen, this is also seen for the first time. I hope that text is visible. So I will make a i'll make an entry in map and i will say my y is also visited now now we do not get any contradictions here so our final answer will one now so my contradictions kaha kaha milte yaar? this was the case where we would have got a contradiction yaha pe ye ek pehla case hota jaha pe we would have checked ki jisse hume map karna hai right agar a present hai uh, the character in s1 is present and the character to be mapped with uh, this a is not present then I would have said false. Dusra case kaun sa hota yaar? Dusra case kaun sa hota? Wo dekhte hai. Is dusra dhran mein dekhte hai. Again, let us, let, us, uh, let us do a dry run for i equals to 0. So this would be your map and this would be your visited uh, map, right? This would be map for mapping and this would be for visited thing. Okay, so for i equals to 0, what will happen? We have the values as a and x, right? So a is seen for the first time because there is no entry in the map. So uh, and x is also not visited. So I will make an entry with a with x and I will mark x as true. Right. So now again for i equals to 1, what I can say the corresponding characters are b and x, right? So b is also it is uh, seen for the first time because it is not present in the map, right? I want to make a relationship with x, right? To map it x. But x, x you can clearly see that it is visited. It is visited. I need to check now. Ki it is visited. So definitely I can clearly say here that this x is already visited so definitely this x would have been mapped with some other characters so you can't do this mapping nahi kar sakte ho, right? and since you cannot do a mapping here so we'll just say that it is not possible return false right so these would be the two cases now i have given you enough intuition now please pause this video here try to code this approach by yourself and then we can see uh, the code okay so that's the code so let me give you a quick dry run for this particular code how it is running so we will do a dry run for this second test case we'll do a dry run for this second test case right so we have two strings so first of all we are checking if it is if it if this if the length are not equal then definitely we there's no point in checking if it is isomorphic or not we'll just say return false 
we have a hash map two hash maps one for storing from store mapping from s1 to s2 and one to check if the characters in s2 are visited or not right so these these lines are clear to us we have a for loop going from i equals to i less than n1 or n2 we can write because both the string length are same if we are pre if you are processing it now here this is our c1 for i equals to this is our c1 this is our c2 i have just ma marked c1 and c2 to uh, just uh, make uh, uh, the code cleaner right now I'm checking if it is not present in the map. So initially it was not present in the map, right? So that is it has it, it has been seen for the first time. So you need to check that if X was also not present or not. So definitely X was also not present. Then we make a map. We made an entry that is map dot put c1 dot c2. So we made an entry a to x and then we marked x as true. Clear? Okay. Then we have for i equals to one. We went on for comparing the second characters that is b and x, right? Now, this is the condition where B is not visited. It is seen for the first time because it is not present in the map, right? But we need to check also if the characters, the character which B wants to map it with, is it also not visited, right? So that's what we are checking. If it is not visited, if it is not visited, visited.contains key in this visited map, right? Then we have to put else if condition is there if it is visited then you just check then you just check <coughs> okay hmm. so if it is visited then definitely this x have been mapped with some different characters for here it is mapped with x and that is why you say return false so we return we return false over here and then we had our iterations getting over okay now what is this second test case what is the second else if this else if indicates that your character your c1 was already present in the map right let's say for this thing for here when we did the iteration right for i equals to 1 i saw that a is already present in the map right so i just need to check key the character which i now want to map it with is it already mapped with the same character or not hum a ko x se map karna cha rahe the hum bas wahi check karna hai ki agar x se hi map hai to koi dikkat nahi hai but agar x se map nahi hai then it is a then it is false because at at every point of time i want for a particular index this i equals to 1 hai to i equals to 1 pe jo bhi characters hai s1 s2 ke wo dono map hone chahiye right so that is this else if condition is here which is checking ki agar c1 jo hai agar map mein present hai aur jisse aap map karna chahte ho agar usi se mapping ho rakhi hai then definitely there is no problem but if it is not equals to to the same character corresponding character then you will say return false i hope i have tried uh I have tried my best to explain you all the possible cases here and that's why I said it's not an easy question again so do not get frustrated or demotivated you just have to keep on solving the question and eventually you will come around it it will come across okay okay so I have given you walk through so let us compile and run for this code so what is the time and space complexity time complexity is o of n because we are running a o for loop going from i equals to 0 to less than equals to n1 what is the space complexity we are using a hash map and we are storing the only distinct characters right you can clearly see here in the hash map we always store the distinct characters also duplicacy is not allowed in the map right and that is what we have taken the benefit of so o of distinct characters would be the space complexity for this question and that is what it is, it is written here great so o of n1 so n1 has the uh, what to say um, constraint as 10 power 5 and we are using O of n, so definitely 10 power 5 is less than 8. So if I hit the submit button here, it should definitely get submitted. Let us wait for the um, let us wait for the results. Okay, we got the submission. Now let us switch back to the C plus code. So the same thing we have written in the map uh, in the C plus as well. Instead of hash map, we have an unordered map here. And what else? What is what is? So instead of contains key, we have find and end function, and that's it. The, the, uh, those are the changes. So let us compile and run again. Okay, so I just, I should have just hit the submit button. So let us hit the submit button and let us wait for the submissions. Great, yeah. So we have done this particular question. So let us meet tomorrow in the tomorrow's period week. And I hope tomorrow's question for the coming two to three days, the question should be easy because it's Diwali time. And I want to spend time with the family as you guys also want it. Okay. Considering those things, we shall end this video here and let us meet again tomorrow in the tomorrow's GFG Purity Streak. And till then, keep learning, keep going, bye bye, and take care, guys.